Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you my March favorites. And um, basically what this is is products that I um, used during the month of March. They were either new products or rediscovered products. But if there are products that I, like I said, used for the month of March and really enjoyed using them and would recommend. So I'm going to start with um, the <clears throat> Jehovah oil right here and this I ordered off of acne.org their website and um, basically what I used this for was to take off my makeup um, I started using retina a back in January and um, base so I've been really trying to make sure that the products that I've been using on my face are moisturizing so I really, really like this. Now I have tried <clears throat> some other Jehovah oils, but for whatever reason, I really like this one. And it's supposed to be 100% organic. Oh, I just love the smell of it. It smells so good. And it reminds me of something. And I haven't been able to pinpoint what it is that it reminds me of. But anyway, I really do like this. Um, put some in my hand and rub it around to dissolve my makeup, my eye makeup, my face makeup. Then I take my washcloth and rinse it off and then I go in and do another cleanse, a double cleanse with my Purity Made Simple. And then another face product that I've been enjoying this month is my um, Philosophy, the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. It's just a really gentle um, exfoliating product that you can use every single day. Um, <clears throat> it's supposed to be a 30 second cleansing mini peel. Oh, you may be able to hear my grandson. He's hollering. I'm trying to get him to lay down and take a nap and it's not working today. But anyway, um, this is also um, a product that QVC um, tells us when they do their presentations on like the Clarisonic and on these that this is safe enough to use with your um, Clarisonic that it won't mess it up. But I do enjoy using this, like I said, um, just for a light exfoliating um, peel on my face. And then another face product that I have been enjoying this month, and this I've had for a while, but I hadn't used it. I used it for a little bit, and then I kind of put it aside and decided I was going to start using this again and have really been enjoying the results of it. And this is the Studio 35 Beauty Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. This is the Walgreens brand, and it is a alpha hydroxy cream just what it says and it is in um, uh, 8% yeah it's an 8% solution and it's just a white cream it almost reminds me of whoops getting ready to spill it out the consistency of um, Elmer's glue and it almost smells like Elmer's glue too but you put it on your face, and I use it at night as a treatment, and um, it does have a little bit of a bite to it, meaning with the, the um, chemical in it, the acids, it will sting your face just a little bit, um, may more so to others, depending upon your sensitivity of your skin, but it only lasts for just a minute or two at the most. Um, the only time that it really kind of irritates as if I have maybe some raw patches on my face from my Retin-A. But I really do like this. What I do is I put my Retin-A on first, let that absorb for like 20 or 30 minutes, and then I go in and put this on. <clears throat> and then a moisturizer. Okay, and then, let's see, any more skincare? Mm, no. Yes. Yes, I do have skincare. This right here is my Stripectin um, Advanced Retinal Day Treatment in an SPF 30. This is my um, sunscreen. This is what I put on the last thing before I put on uh, my makeup. Oh, let me see if I can get this straight. Put all my treatments on, moisturizer, serums, blah, blah, blah. Let all that set in for a few minutes while I'm brushing my teeth. 
And then I put this on, which is my sunscreen, and then I'll let this sit for a couple of minutes, and then I'll put my primer on and then start my makeup application. But I do order this off of QVC, and it is a, um, it's the first um, daytime retinol treatment product that has come out on the market, and it has an SPF of 30 in it. Okay, for hair, um, my favorite thing that I've been using for this month, and I'm just about out of, is my Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Conditioning Co-Wash. This here. I did order this off of Hot Look. Hot Look. Um, I don't know, January or February, I think. It was when I hauled it. And, I'm, like I said, I'm just about down. This probably be, end up being in my April empties. But, I love it. I love the way that it does my hair. Um, I feel like with just this product here, I don't need to go in with any other kind of conditioning type treatments afterwards. If this is fine. And, it cleanses my hair, conditions, um, helps with the frizzies, everything. All in one. And, I love the smell of it smells like a really nice um, floral scent, which I love. I love anything that smells floral, girly. I like that. Okay, so if you have natural curly hair, I would definitely recommend this. I'm almost for certain that you can buy this at Sephora, but I would definitely keep an eye out for it on um, Hot Look because it was a lot cheaper. It was like 50% off. <clears throat> okay, and then um, I just got these wipes. These are the Up and Up brand, the Daily Cleansing Cloths, and these are compared to Bore Biore. And I really have been liking these because they actually have a texture on them. So I feel like I can um, use my brushes to spot clean my brushes. I don't actually use wipes on my face to take makeup off with at all. Um, but I do like to have these to use when I'm taking, when I'm using. Oh, I can't even talk today. When I'm applying my makeup, I like to take my brush, my makeup brushes, and rub them across one of these just to spot clean. Um, that way I don't have to wash my brushes as often by doing a spot clean. So I really have liked these. Um, I like the formulation of them as far as that they're wet enough. Plus when I score them, I always score them upside down like this or on their belly so that way all of the juice runs this way so whenever you pull out the wipe you always have the most um, the wettest wipe is always going to be coming out of your package instead of being back here so that's how I score them on my um, vanity is upside down like that and in conjunction with these that have also been really liking for the month of March that I just got and I did not haul this product I ordered it off of eBay and I just got the small spray spray bottle of it, and it's the Cinnamon Secrets Professional Makeup Brush Cleanser. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it, but I love this. This is really nice for just a spot cleanser. It's supposed to cleanse and sanitize and everything for your brushes. And um, it's a professional makeup brush cleanser. It says, we'll clean, sanitize, deodorize, and condition um, all makeup brushes. And I just really like to use this to spray on my eyeshadow brushes and then wipe them off on the makeup cloth, the cleansing cloth, and that seems to really help keep my brushes a lot cleaner than <clears throat> what they have been. Okay, speaking of brushes, I do have a couple of favorite brushes that I have been really using just about every single day for this month and this first one is an old one that I've had for a really long time and I had it back on the back burner hadn't used it and pulled it back out and I'm really really enjoying it and it's the Sephora brand the professional brand crease brush in number 10 and this is what it looks like now it is in the silver handle and I know that this line formulation here has been discontinued and now I think they all have a black handle but you can still get the crease brush number 10 in the Sephora professional yeah let's see I don't know if you'll be able to see that probably not no there's too much of a glare because it's in um, silver but it's just called Sephora professional 
and it's the number 10 crease brush. Just really do like this for putting on my um, transition shade right in there. I love that brush. And then the other brush that I really have been liking is this one here, and this is from Crown Brush, and I ordered this off of um, Hot Look when it was on Hot Look. And it's the IB111, and the IB stands for Italian Badger, and it's the Round Angle Blender. You can see it has a little um, curve or a slant to it. That's what I want to say, slant right there. It is the dual fiber right there. And I like it because I have really small eyes. I have booted eyes, and I like to put it right here in the outer corner and then bring everything up like that. That's how I like to use that. And with that angle on it, I think it's just perfect for getting it put place right where I want it on the outer edge there. So I really have been enjoying that. I have several of these because they were only like, they were less than five dollars each. And I just ordered a whole bunch, a whole lot more of those <clears throat> from Hot Look not too long ago. So next time you see them on Hot Look, I would definitely check them out. Or you can go on to crownbrush.com and just order them straight off the website. Um, they are called the Italian Badger, and they're always going to start with the letters IB, which stands for Italian Badger. <clears throat> Duh. Okay, and then for face, one of the products that I have rediscovered, and um, because I had been trying to use up my Urban Decay um, Potion Eye Potion Eye Primer, I hadn't been really using any other eye primers other than that, just because I had this huge tube that I needed to finish up. But I have been really enjoying my Bare Minerals Pry Time Eyelid Primer, a little sample. This has always been one of my favorite eyelid primers. Really do like that. Definitely worth a try. And um, a setting spray that I have been loving for the month of March. And this is another rediscovered. I had put it aside to use the um, setting spray for from e.l.f. And um, discovered that it was chapping my lips like horrendously. So I had to quit using it and pulled back out my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And I just love this. This is wonderful for anybody that has dry skin because it's a cooling and hydrating. It's a little bit different than the All Nighter where I think the All Nighter is maybe geared toward more people with oily skin possibly where this one is more for people with dry skin. So I really have been liking this and would definitely keep that in my rotation. Okay, foundation that I have been using this whole month, and this was also in my um, yearly favorites, but I continue to really like it. And this is going to end up in my empties because I did finish this bottle, but it's my Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation which is this right here, and I actually have two colors. This one is in the number 52, and this one is in the number 51, and I would mix. So I would do two pumps of the 52 and one pump of the 51, and put it on my hand, blend it around with my brush, and then apply it to my face. But I do, I love this foundation. I wish it was sold here in the United States. Um, had to order it online but you can go in and um, Google it and you can find all different kinds of um, websites where you can order it and it was very inexpensive it's like a drugstore um, price on foundation okay and then for my under eyes for my concealer my it cosmetics bye bye under eye in the color light this is a wonderful um, concealer and it only takes just a little, 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 little bit, I mean, like that much right there to do under your eyes. That's wonderful. I think I just think anything from IT Cosmetics is a really good product, especially for women of my age. Because um, it, it plays well with lines and wrinkles. Let's just put it that way. And then the um, <clears throat> powder that I've been using to set under my eyes 
my concealer is the Ben Nye Neutral Set, the Colorless Face Powder, just this right here. And I ordered this off of Amazon. You can just Google that and it will pull up different places where you can order the Ben Nye powders. And there's all different ones. I had another one that I had used, but it was too white. Where this one's more of a neutral white. And it's just like, like that. And it doesn't take very much at all. It's very finely milled. So just use a fluffy brush and just use it to just pat it underneath my eyes and I do it like in a V like this and you can see it's on top of that right there just really really pretty a nice setting powder for your concealer <clears throat> and then uh, speaking of eyes my mascara combination that I've used for this whole month is my Tarte Lights Camera Flashes and that's this one here in the gold tube there. And I'll show you the wand. The wand can be a little tricky because of the way that it is made. It's kind of pokey. So you have to be careful and not poke your eyelids with it. But I just really like the way that I put it on and it just grabs my lashes and pulls them up and coats it. I do like once, twice, and then do this eye. And it gives a really nice length and um, doesn't do volume though. I use the um, Clinique High Impact Mascara. I put this on top of that for volume, but this gives me the length and the separation that I like. And then I put this one on for volume. And it's this type of wand, which I really do like. This one's really easy to use. It's, it's not pokey at all. That other one, you have to be careful she can poke your eye. And then the eyeliner that I've been using just about every single day is the Physician's Formula in Deep Brown, the liquid eyeliner. It's like this here. Is that upside down? Right here. Try it that way. And this is the lid here. <clears> or <throat> the tip. Here is the line which you can get a smaller line than that it doesn't have to be that bold but I love this it's really easy to use it stays on and it's just a good formulation the only thing that I wish is that it came in more colors it comes in deep brown and it comes in black and that's it I wish it would come out with like a plum a green a navy this would be so pretty and then the other thing that I've been enjoying on my eyes has been this paint pot by MAC in Indian Wood, which is this here. And I just put this on my eyelids up to my crease, it's right here. And then on the outer edge, in the V, in the outer edge, and just pull it in that I've been enjoying. It's been this Clinique eyeshadow in Black Honey, which is right here. It's just a very, very pretty combination. I'm going to put a little bit on top of that Indian wood right there. So it's just beautiful together. And then with this eyeliner. Spot on. Perfect. And then for uh, my blushes that I have been really enjoying this whole month that I've been wearing, have been my Ambient Powder um, Blushes by Hourglass and I can't really tell you which one of these is my favorite. I like all of them. The three that I have is Luminous Flush, this color here, <clears throat> that's right there, and then Radiant Magenta. Just that one right there. And then um, Diffused Heat. And this is the newest one that I just got. And it's just really, really, really pretty. So right there. So you can see different colorations. These two are kind of similar together, but anyway. And then um, for my... I've got stuff on it. This right here, this Hard Candy little trio, blush trio that I found at Walmart. 
I tell you what, if you have not tried one of these, you need to go and get it. It has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. And it is just wonderful. Right there. And I've been using this a lot. A lot. There's the blush, the highlight, and the bronzer. It's just perfect. Really, really do like this bronzer. Again, there's the bronzer. So it's wonderful. This is in um, Three Times a Lady. Number 841 is the number. And this was around $10. And then the last item that I've been using every day. I just love it. And this is the Chloe De Roses Perfume. I'm going to see how much I've used already. Oh, I, I can't even describe... And it's one of the, I mean, definitely has a rose scent to it. So if you like, if you don't like roses, you're not going to like this. But it's definitely one of those scents that sits close to the body. So when you walk into a room, people aren't going to be able to smell you. But when they get up close to you, or if they give you a hug, or if you kind of walk by them, they're going to notice your scent and they're going to stop and say, oh my gosh, you smell so good. I love that. And that will definitely be a repurchase once that is gone. But anyway, okay, make sure I covered everything. Yep, that's it. That is it for my March empties. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.